Hello, 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 everyone. How we doing on this beautiful, beautiful, what are we, Thursday? <laughs> How are we doing on this beautiful Thursday? Go ahead and tag someone tonight. We're talking about mind mapping. <laughs> We're talking about mind dumping to your master plan. Tag someone to come on in here tonight. Hello, everyone. Come on in. Hi, Nicole. How are you doing today? How are you doing, Nicole? Come on in. Come on in. Tonight is night we talk about mind mapping. So if you're an entrepreneur, you do not want to miss tonight. Hi, Katrina. Ebony. Honey, this is for you tonight. It is for you tonight. Yes. Yes, 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 yes. And we got some giveaways tonight, too. So we're going to, I feel like I'm in a giving mood. So we're, we're going to give away some stuff tonight. So if you feel someone deserving of a gift, go ahead and tag them in our meeting tonight. We're talking about mind dumping <laughs> to your master plan. Yes, Ebony, I'm glad you're here. Yes, because some of the stuff we're talking about, you can definitely use in your business tonight. Yes, yes, yes. Ebony, what, um, can you put down a comment on what do you do? Put in the comments so everyone can know. No, I know what you do, but let everyone else know what you are doing tonight. How are you, love? Hey, Amy, how are you? How you doing, Amy? Hope all is well. We need to do a class for you and I haven't seen you forever. Yes, guys, I'm just waiting on everyone to come on in. It is Thursday and we're going to be talking about mind dumping. You know, I have all those ideas and information in your head and you just don't know how to bring it to light. Well, tonight is the night we help you bring all those ideas and things you're thinking about. Sometimes you think about 10 things to do and don't know which one you want to do. So yes, we're talking about mind dumping to master plan tonight. Yes, so if you know someone to have a business that need to hear this, go ahead and tag that person right now because they need to be on here. We also have some giveaways that we're going to be giving away tonight. So if you have someone um, that you think we should give away something to, go ahead and share this with them right now. Yes, sharing is caring. So yes, 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 I see it. Yeah. Legal Shield, let everyone know. And if you have a business too, go ahead so you guys can join Venture and talk about all the businesses that you have. Thank you, Ebony. She's with Legal Shield. I'm making sure she wanted her business out there before I said it. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Go ahead and tag someone that you think should join us tonight on this call. We're talking about mind dumping. I know most of us have all these amazing things that we want to do. Hey, Angela. How are you doing? Huh? Okay, I see booming in the house. <laughs> Mind dumping to your master plan. That is what we're talking about tonight. Mind dumping to your master plan. Hey, beautiful. And Angela, we're just saying if you have a business or something that you do, go ahead and, and put in the comments. And if you know someone that need to know here what we have tonight about how to mind dump your information and turn your information to a master plan to ideas to income, go ahead and tag that person right now as we bring them on in here. Yes, yes, Ebony, thank you. Go ahead and keep tagging them, honey. You know what, Ebony, because you're tagging all these people, I'm feeling a given mood. I'm actually, y'all, I got to check this out. This is my nails. I got these nails from Color Streaks. And they are, oh my gosh, amazing. Let me see if I can show you. They are amazing. And Ebony, since you're tagging all these people, honey, this is yours, honey. It saved me, saved me so much money. Color Streak, I got this from Tracy Rodriguez. Shout out to Tracy. I got this from Tracy Rodriguez. And I'm going to send it all over to you, Ebony. You got, you're the first person to get one of these. And what's amazing about... um. If you guys can see my nails, it's uh, with Color Streak is because it saves you so much time in going to the nail shops, you know, and spend like sixty and seventy dollars in the nail shops. So, Ebony, since you're tagging all those people, girlfriend, this is yours. So yes, guys, go ahead. And I I said we were in a giving mood today. Didn't I say that? I said we were gonna be giving away stuff today. So yeah, Ebony, this is yours. So go ahead and tag some more people. So we, this is Color Streak. This is a new nail nail. I'm not here to talk about Color Streak. I'm not a part of them. Um, it was a gift to me, and I'm making a gift to you also. Um. They were nice enough to give me this color streak for my nails, and I got them done. And guess what? What I love about it is, is what? 
literally like on the $20 and you know, the nail shop is like 60 or $70. So Ebony, since you're tagging all these people to join us tonight, this girlfriend is yours, honey. You don't save some money at the nail shop. Yes, yes, yes. So yes, we are talking about mind dumping to master plan. And if you have a business and you have something that you're doing right now, you want people to be a part of it, Go ahead, go ahead and put what you do down there in the in our comments so everyone can know what you do. Miss Angela is a creative credit consultant. Yes, all your business credit and all that she can help you with. I'm excited about tonight because, you know, usually I'm motivated and I'm telling people about um, what they should do and start a business. But tonight I'm actually training on how to take those ideas and take those information that is in your head and dump it down into something to where you can actually make money from it or help others from it. So I'm excited that you guys are joining me tonight. And again, if you have somebody that's a like-minded individual that you think should be on here tonight that want to start their business and, and they're telling you they have all this stuff in their head but they don't know what to do with it, this is your time. And I just gave away a color streak nail to the beautiful Ebony. And uh, and the more you tag people, is the more I will be giving away the color streak. Again, I'm not affiliated with color streak. Um, someone gave it to me as a gift, and I want to make sure I return the favor. And Miss Jennifer got some more color streak coming to me tonight, right, Jen? Yes, yes. So go ahead and tag some people right now. I had to give a shout out to Jennifer Mutter and they're her great team and Tracy Rodriguez. They're they're the one with color streak. I am not affiliated with them, but I was a gift from them, and I'm making a gift to you. So you you guys are amazing. Thank Thanks, Jen. Amazing. All right. So we're going to get started tonight because I, we're talking about mine. And, and again, all these things that we're doing, I'm actually wearing uh, my paparazzi. That's Siobhan. So if somebody can go ahead, please tag Siobhan. I'm wearing my paparazzi um, earrings tonight too. So Siobhan, thank you for my paparazzi earrings. Five bucks. Yay. Five bucks. I support my sisters. I love it. Thanks, Jen. Thanks, Tracy. And thanks, Siobhan. I got to give them a shout out. And I'm going to be blessing other people with this, some of these tonight too. This is Color Street. Guys, listen, I I paid $70 in the nail salon the other day for my photo shoot, honey. Guess what? I saved some money with these nails. They're so cute. Look at them. Anyways, so, and that's kind of like what we're talking about tonight is mind mapping. How do you take the information that you have in your head, right? How did I came up with this? I came up with this because I uh, conduct 15-minute fitting calls. And during my 15-minute fitting calls, I conduct it with prospective clients. So the prospective clients that I have five questions that I ask all prospective clients that contact me about their business and where they're trying to take their business. And one of the main thing I get from all these prospective clients is, Sherry, I have so much ideas up here. I am passionate about so much things. I don't know where to start. My mind is always racing. I'm always thinking about things I can do. I always want to think about, hi, Laverne. I'm always thinking about some things I can do. And it just, every day I'm thinking about new ideas and I just don't know where to start. It's frustrating because I don't know what I should do. I have, I'm good at this and I'm also good at this and I don't know what I should be doing. So I just, it's just all over the place. I have so much thing that I know I can be profiting from and I know I can be making money from and I can help other people from, but I do not know where to start. You had, you're sleeping at night and things are going through your head. Man, I should do this. I should do that. That's what we call mind dumping. That's what we call mind dumping. When your mind is racing with ideas, with skills, with things you can do to level up, but you are constantly trying to figure out should I go this marketing? Should I do that? Should I do this? Why are people not responding to my marketing? What am I doing wrong? That's what we call mind dumping. Hi, hey, Melinda, how are you? Uh, that's what we call mind dumping. Mind dumping is having the ability to think of all this stuff that you want to do. Whenever I'm on my 15 minute fitting calls with my prospective clients, five, five questions, 15 minutes. Don't waste my time. I don't waste your time. Five minutes fitting call. What they tell me the most is they have so much to do. Hey, back at you, love. Hi, Evelyn. It's been forever. But what my prospective clients tell me, Sherry, I have so much thing I want to do. I want to do real estate. I want to do taxes. I want to do credit repair. I want to do, I want to sell jewelry. I want to, I want to do MLM. I want to do a weight loss coach. I want to do all this stuff. And there's so much stuff I can do. I just don't know where to start. I'm doing this, but I'm not really passionate about this. 
I have so much things I want to do and the lifestyle I want to create, but I don't know where to start. My mind is racing with ideas and information and I am just struggling in getting my ideas and information out into the world to help people and make a profit from it. So that is what we call mind dumping. Mind dumping is you having something in your head and you're fig trying to figure out the pieces. Melinda, we know about that, right? <laughs> we're trying to figure out the pieces and that's what we're talking about tonight. How you go from mind dumping all that idea to, ah, thank you, mind dumping all that idea and turn that idea into a master plan. And that is our topic for tonight. And usually I'm saying like, empowering you and all that but tonight we're actually training on how to do that because to let me know when does your idea come to you for me sometimes it's in the shower sometimes when i'm trying to lay down at night or i could be reading a book a really really good book a really good power empowering book right now i'm reading td td jake soar and it talks about women this is your time the wind is blowing your way i highly recommend that book that's an awesome book hi veronica how are you doing love so that's a great book that um for you entrepreneurs or people ready to take off the read but on the most part, what we're talking about is how do you take that information that is up here that you want to do real estate investment, you want to do credit repair, you want to do event planning, you want to do weight loss, you want to you want to design clothes, you have all this stuff that you're good at and you just know where to start. That is what we are talking about tonight. How you take all those ideas and package it into something else, right? That can credit make make money for you and also of course help others. So we're going to start with first thing the first thing I do the first thing I do is whenever my thought come to me because you never know when God is gonna bless you and one thing the beautiful Ariana um, um, Pierce uh, always say to me it said in a, uh, one of our workshops is God does not have to repeat himself twice God does not have to repeat himself twice. So when that idea or information or light bulb comes on, make sure you grab your pen and you grab your paper because that idea may not come again. So you must always have a pen, paper, or now in technology, we have Evernote. You can download the app Evernote to your phone. You can, every phone has some type of notes. So immediately when information come to you, you make sure you have something that you can write, script, print out or something on so you can take that idea and just plop it somewhere. The first thing I said about mind dumping, like if you're at home and you're like, man, I, I want more, right? I don't want to have to add a second income. I'm looking at all these bills and I don't know what am I going to do with all these bills. I don't want to have to add more bills upon bill, um, more job nine to five to my skill. So what I need to do, I need to figure out how to make money for me. Let me say that one more time. <laughs> you need to figure out how to make money for you. I need to figure out how to make money for me. So you start thinking about all these ideas you can do. So what I need for you to do, the first, first thing that you need to do, first thing you need to do is to make sure that you script it out, right? I'm still old school, so I love my pen and paper. Love my pen and paper, right? However, sometimes it's not feasible to get pen and paper. So you need to make sure you have something like a notepad. I love Evernote because you can have pictures, content, and all that. So um, Evernote is the app that I use a lot. But when I'm at home in my office, I make sure that I have my pen and paper handy. You need a script. You need to use a pen, not pencil. You need to use a pen, not pencil. And hear me clearly, because when you use a pencil, you're subject to try to erase the, all the information and ideas that is coming to you. You do not want to erase that because that information, even though it sounds like mumbo jumbo <laughs> in the middle, like it doesn't make sense, keep scripting but do not erase because some of the information that you're getting is information that's going to be beneficial to you may not be right now but maybe later on and if you're just joining us i want to go ahead and say we are talking about how do we take those ideas and information that's in our head how we mind dump those information we're talking about how to take those information and capture the information and put it out there into the world to solve a problem take that idea and turn it into income and if you know someone that can benefit from this, we're giving away 
gifts tonight. This is my beautiful nails, our street color, uh, color streaks uh, nails that I got for my ladies. We're giving them some away tonight. We just gave away one of them. So go ahead and tag somebody that you think need to hear this information. When I'm on my 15 minute uh, fitting call with my prospective clients, I'm always hearing, Sherry, if you know all the stuff that runs through my head per day of what I could be doing or what I want to do, and I just don't know how to capture it, I just don't know how to do it. Well, one of the things I just suggested, again, one more time, is to make sure you start scripting it out. Do not erase anything that comes to your mind. Do not erase. Just, just, just. Go ahead and start scripting out. It doesn't make sense when you're doing. It's going to look like doodle. It's going to look like you're back in kindergarten. But just keep writing and writing and writing and writing. Y'all remember when Eminem lost his um, his rap book, his book with all his rap songs in there, and it was value at a certain amount? Okay. Imagine your book. That's why I do not recommend putting your scripting ideas on uh, on notepads or on papers that you all over the place. Get a Dollar Tree book and get all your content in this like this book and get all your content into a book to where you can flip to it later on because your ideas that you are getting may not be for right now, but it will be for later on. So when those ideas come to your mind, I want to do this. I want to be a weight loss coach. I want to design. I want to do earrings. I want to I want to uh, make earrings. I want to make jewelry. I want to do credit repair. I want to do tax returns. I whatever it might be event coordinator whatever your skill may be and i would suggest drop your skills down at the bottom so everyone can know what you do so you never know who may be sitting here listening drop your skills down so everyone can know what you are doing so whatever it is that you are doing right now i would highly 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 suggest when god come say something to you you get it in paper you do not wait you do not hesitate you get it on paper and you start scripting again do not use a pencil because we have a tendency to erase something because at the moment we don't understand how to process it and he could be giving you a gift that you don't understand and because you don't understand that gift you're trying to erase it because that gift may not be for now but it may be for later on so you're able to take that book that you captured information on and look at it later on so that's why I advise not to use pencil when you're scripting out your ideas it's not going to make sense at the time but I know there are plenty of people that have ideas, skills, and content that come to them daily in the shower, where you're sleeping, where you're talking to your friends, you're seeing magazine, on TV. There's so much stuff that comes to you and you're like, what do I do? How do I do it? This is what you do. Script it out. Don't erase this script it out. There's plenty of things that I'm telling you guys. We did a coaching program and I did a webinar with one of our clients and I did that webinar a year ago and I was still it was still relevant this year but the I got the idea God gave me the idea a few years ago and I'm just using idea now this is what I say always put your ideas in a book or something you can look back on later on now you got your mind mind dumping you're writing out everything that you, that's coming to your mind about what you want to do what you want to use to profit your family what you some skills that you know that you can make money from and how you're gonna help people now the next thing you do after you're finished scripting those things out you want to think about what is your objective what is the reason behind why you're doing it? Get the readers to understand why or the people you're helping to understand why. In my business, Sherry Summers Unlimited, I help women to figure out their freedom lifestyle. What does freedom lifestyle live to you? Like to me, freedom lifestyle is not missing a, a, a soccer game for my son. You know, freedom lifestyle is being at the PTA meetings or freedom lifestyle to me is how to cultivate and nourish my business and raising a family at the same time without having to work a second job or without having to work overtime. That is my freedom lifestyle. That's what I live for. That's the things I do. I can stay at my home, raise my family, and make my money at the same time and not sacrificing my son. So what is freedom lifestyle? Drop a comment below and tell me what does your freedom lifestyle look for? At for you what do you what do you, do you define freedom to you because what we tend to do when we come to our freedom lifestyle we came to trade time for money right so we feel like our bills are too high so what do we do we go get a second job 
getting that second job requires someone watching your child while you get that second job, right? Mothers, I know, I feel your pain. So why not create a lifestyle to where you have a business and have that business running from your home? And then you don't have to go get a second income. If you don't want to work your nine to five until your dream becomes your full time, that's fine too. But create a lifestyle to where you define it, not someone else right? Create a lifestyle where you define it, not someone else. That's what the freedom life, that's my objective in helping other women launch their business so they can nurture their business and cultivate their family and business all at the same time. That's the objective. So when you have all that mind dumping ideas, the next thing is to figure out what is your objective? What is your why? What is your thing you say? I'll be damned if I, or I'll be damned if I have to do this. Hold somebody else's job and they keep telling me what to do and they keep, you figure out what your, your I'll be damned movement is. Uh, Angel, Angel had me say that I'll be damned movement. What is your movement that say you want to do this? Who are you doing it for? Because if you remember who you're doing it for, you would not have this stop, go, stop, go, right? We start a business today. It The hype was good. Tomorrow morning we stop, right? So your objective is your momentum to keep pushing and keep going even when you want to stop. Even when you don't see the results that you want to see and you want to stop, your why keeps you going. Your why could be, hey, I got these bills and I love my freedom and I'm not going to let anybody take that away. Create whatever your why may be so you can keep pushing and keep going. And that's your objective. Your objective should be so strong that you know without a shadow of doubt that's what you stand for. Regardless if it was money, not monetization, but this is what I stand for. I believe that you can have a business. You can raise your child and cultivate both at the same time. That is my objective. So when you're, you're mind mapping about all all these stuff, figure out, okay, Sherry, I want to do real estate. I want to do event planning. I want to do jewelry. I want to design clothes. There's so much stuff you want to do. I want to sell legal shield. I want to do all this stuff. So how do I figure it out, Sherry? It's all in my head. What do I do? Well, I say script it out. I'm also letting you say whatever it is to pick one channel for now. Pick one channel based on your passion. What is your passion? So if I want to do event planning and I want to do real estate, which one am I more passionate about to get me to my next level? Now, understand that you may choose real estate, but tomorrow morning or a few weeks after you are, excuse me, a few years after you master real estate, which is what happened with my property preservation business when it runs like clockwork, I can now shift my mind into helping all the women cultivate their business. So my property preservation business pretty much run without me, right? So it came to a plateau to where I can keep making money without without having to physically be there I'm offline. So now that's why I'm doing this online. So you got to figure out in those channels what one of them, one, one idea you can work on and ask yourself what is the objective of that idea. All right. What is the objective of the idea? When you figure out what that one objective, and here's what I always get in my, on my coaching calls. I always get that person that says, well, I'm good at both. I'm so good at both. I don't know which one to do. <laughs> if that's you, go ahead and give me a thumbs up. If that's you, that's okay. We still love you. Go ahead and give me a thumbs up. If that, I'm so good at both. I don't know which one to choose. And I, it's not that you don't know which one to choose. You just feel like you're going to be missing out on an audience if you choose wrong, if you choose the wrong one. Well, here's the secret. There's no wrong one because there is a market for each business, right? When you're using the internet market, your, your audience, your target audience is out there. So there's no wrong choice. And what I learned that if you narrow it down to one channel, one channel as in, okay, I want to do real estate. I want to do event planning. I choose event planning because that's what I love to do. There's not, not anything wrong. Thank you. Hi, Kara. Thank you. There's nothing wrong with that, but choose one thing because you're going to sell yourself short. You're going to burn out before you even get started. So when you choose that channel that you're, that you're definitely passionate about and you want to do it, then you know who your target audience is. Now this, everyone is 
good at something, and this is what I'm good at. I'm good at helping people find their target audience. And here's what I mean. It sounds cliche, but that's the biggest thing I see in market, right? I was on a coaching webinar last night with a client, and when I was talking to that client, um, the client said to me, hey, well, my target audience is women. And I'm like, uh, yeah, it may be women, but that does not mean that that's your ultimate goal because the my my client wanted to do weight loss. Well, so I said to her, I said, well, let's think about it. If the person who had, if a woman, if a mother or a woman have a child in a, and, and after the child is delivered after nine months, she gained her weight because of the child, not because of anything else. Well, if you're trying to have that person lose weight and your niche audience, your target audience are people who has weight loss due to behavior situation, that's not a behavior. That's nature, baby. So she's not your target audience. The lady who just lost the weight, that's not your target audience. Your target audience is people who gain weight due to a depression or due to a situation that ever happened to them or they went through a divorce. So you're not because she's a woman, that does not make her your target audience. And I've always want you guys to understand that when you're getting ready to brand out, branch out your product and launch your product, understand you have the right audience. And you got to ask yourself certain questions. And I'm going to be dropping my my, uh, my avatar or how the a link down at the bottom so you can see how this link can help you identify who your target audience is. So I will do that for you in, in a bit. And if my VA, if my virtual assistant is on here, you can go ahead and do that for me too, please. <laughs> yes. So anyway, yeah, make sure you get your virtual assistant because they're the best. <laughs> so anyways, your target audience cannot be just women. Your target audience, yeah, bring it back down. How old are they? What what race are they? Or uh, what what do they what what makes them tick? What make them upset? What makes them sad? What makes them happy? What make them spin? Right? Those are all small things that you gotta know about your target audience. If just saying someone is a woman doesn't mean that they're a target audience. Like me, I am my target audience. I am the mother that want to cultivate my child and, and fin just finish his homework, put in the bed, and now I'm I'm here helping my other women elevate their business. That's me. That's what I want to do, right? So you got to figure out who your target audience is when you're before you launch. You can't market to everyone, honey, because you will lose. You will run out of money before you start making money. You hear me? You will run out of money before you start making money. So you first, during your mind mapping or, or your mind dumping, you're scripting out you're scripting out everything. Do not erase. And after you finish scripting out on paper, on Evernote, that's the app I use, Evernote, or Trello. Trello is a great app that I also use to organize my business. Let me throw that out there. Trevor, Tre Trello, and Evernote. Um, another thing that you want to do after you identify your target audience is what product are you going to serve them? Right? Okay. So I'm going to take you, Ebony, because I've been picking on you all night. So Ebony, you do a uh, legal shield. So Ebony does a uh, legal shield and everyone needs a legal shield, right? Yes. Great. Everyone needs legal shield, but will Ebony will be selling to everyone? Maybe not. Maybe she has to bring down her audience because that's too broad. Who mostly, could it be a group? Could it be attorney? Could it be an attorney that has, has a, 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 a small group or, or let's say a doctor's office that has very, very, norm, usually doctor's office have a few staff. So let's start there. So, so you could be targeting small businesses that has uh, five staff or under, and that's your target audience opposed to everyone. So your marketing is going to be towards that small group. Or your target audience could be, single moms who are people who don't have insurance um, but they, they're entrepreneurs but they don't have um, insurance so your your legal shield could be something that step in for them that's what I mean by narrating your, your audience down we miss that a lot when we're launching our business yeah you owe me one <laughs> so there's a these are just different group of people that you got to target but you got to one thing I'm, I love about entrepreneurship it gives you the ability to choose who you want to make money from my cleaning company we target a certain 
clientele because we use organic products and organic products sometimes tend to be uh, a little more expensive so our cleaning may be for another another area or another range because our organic products are expensive but for them to um, use us we have a unique advantage point because the people who use us know they're not going to have to worry about chemicals or you know bleach or anything like that because we're able to solve their problem using organic products that are not harmful to the environment or to their health so my clientele may have some health issues that's my target audience so ask yourself when you're doing your marketing who are you talking to? Saying you're talking to all the males or all the females or everyone at work, that is not a target audience. You got to bring it down when you're doing your mind map mapping, when you choose your channel of what you're going to target. And then after you figure out who your ideal clients are, after you figure out all your ideal clients, then you got to say, okay, what problem am I solving? I know you guys hear this a lot. What problem am I solving for my ideal clients? Now, here's where it gets kind of like nitty gritty, right? When I say problem, the first time I heard this when I was just starting out, I thought problems mean like, okay, problem. They have a problem. They have a weight loss problem. We want to lose weight. Okay. But what we don't realize is we got to, this is again the mindset thing that I talked about last night. Your mindset play tricks on you. All right. When I say problem, it don't have to be a medical problem or health problem. Um, I told you guys about my color streak that I got uh, from Tracy Rodriguez and uh, Ebony. This is yours. Ebony won this color streak. Because go ahead and tag somebody on here and then you get DM me with your address and I will send you out a color streak after you tag five people here. Ebony get, was the first one to do it, so she got it for free. Now, this color streak, and I'm not affiliated with color streak, not selling it at all, not affiliated with it, but she sent it to me and I loved it. I got my nails done. Usually, this nail, nail at the salon would cost me $70, right? $70 bucks and I'm there for hours now as much as I love going to the nail salon having color streak um, really really helped me one is way less way 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 less than going to the nail store right and and the price is right in my price range so what I love about that is that's the problem that this is solving it's not a life or death situation but what it does it put money back in my home so now I don't have to budget this sixty seventy dollar just to get my nails done and I think color streak was so phenomenal so that's a problem um, Siobhan got me these beautiful uh, paparazzi um, I bought it from her at a uh, really um, women empowerment workshop I love supporting women uh, my sisters or anyone period but I just love some supporting small businesses and this is um, a paparazzi business she has now what problem um, is she solving with these earrings well at five bucks right first of all five bucks I had a photo shoot today and I was able to use wear her earrings on a photo shoot right so at five bucks, I didn't have to go spend all this money to get these elaborate accessories. I can get it for five bucks, right? So that's a problem that someone solved for me. I don't have to stay in the nail salon all day, all night. So that's what I'm saying. When you're thinking about your business, when we say, what problems are you solving? You're, it, it's, it, use your mindset. Your mind is not about, oh, they have, they have a sickness and you're solving a problem. Don't think that way. Think about how do you, do you bring money back into their account? Do you give them time back into their account? Like my VA, my VA has been ph phenomenal. Executive Arms, they have been phenomenal. And you can DM me, I can tell you all about them. But they have been phenomenal in helping me uh, get ready to release the revenue. October 26th through the 28th, see you here live October 26th through the 28th. But they have been phenomenal in helping me free up my time. When you think about your product and and, and the business you want to launch, you cannot have a business unless you're helping someone. So ask yourself, what problem does your business solve for your weight, for your target audience? Not for you, but your target audience. Not for everyone, only for your target audience, right? I did not have to wait at the salon or at the nail place for two hours to get my nails done because in two minutes my nails was done for the photo shoot. So I am trying to explain to you when you think about your product and launching your business, think about it in that aspect. What they, um, having these nail polish brought, brought back time back into my life for my son, for my business. So I don't have to sit there and just hang out. Now some people like it. 
I don't. I gotta, I gotta move. I gotta keep going. Now, now that you figure out what your problem, your target audience, you're solving, now you know how to do the content for your marketing. Because how are you marketing if you don't know your target audience, you don't know what problem you're solving, and you don't know what products you're gonna be serving them. You gotta know all these things first before you start marketing to anyone, right? So these are the things you need to know during your mind mapping session, right? During those mind mapping session, you have to know who, what's your objective, right? Why are you doing it? What's your, I'll be damned if I do. Oh, you have to know what's your objective. Why are you doing this? What is your passion that keep you going when you, when you want to say goodbye? What is your passion, right? What, who are you helping? Who are you helping right now? Cancel that. Sorry. So I'm so much trying to invite. Who are you helping right now when you're trying to do this business. So during your mind mapping session, go ahead and script out what you, what you're thinking about. Cause God is not in the repeating himself business. Let me say it one more time. God do not have to repeat himself twice. So when he gives you an idea and that idea comes to you to help someone, you have to make sure you capture that information and execute that information because that information may go away like that. So I always say, make sure you have a pen and paper handy when the idea or that information come to you, you can use that information to help someone else to bless someone else. Because if you don't, it will go away like that. When does your ideas come to you? Sometimes it comes to you when you're in the shower. Sometimes it comes to you where, where you're feeding. Sometimes it comes to you where you're laying down. So when that information comes to you, you have to make sure that you capture that moment. Now, with that being said, when that information comes, now you have your objective. Uh, <laughs> my girlfriends like to call it, I'll be there moment. The objective is, wh why am I doing it? For who am I doing it? Why do I want to continue doing this? Because your why will keep you in the game. Your why will keep you in the game. So you got your objective. We talk about your target audience, your target audience, your target audience. Not everybody's going to buy from you, especially your family, honey. Let me get, help you out with family members. Family members are the last person to support you in your business when you first start, right? I would will say this. I was blessed to have some family members that really support me when I have my offline business. Family members sometimes take a while to catch up. They have to see for result first. So, so you, they just have to, oh, we're hanging on for results, right? The, but every day they'll come to you. I have this idea and it's in my head and I don't know how to get it out. And I'm like, well, I'm having released the revenue. You want to come on over? So you don't look at them. You look at your target audience and why are you helping those target audience? Now, what product are you going to sell? Right now that you know your target audience, now that you know the problem, now that you know how you're going to solve the problem, how will the transformation look when the problem is solved? How will the transformation look after that problem is solved? Right? What will the transformation be? Like me, I was telling you about my nail polish, I don't have to sit there, so I brought back more, I brought back more stuff, more time. With my family, more time in my business, I don't have to sit in a nail place all day, right? So you can't have a problem. You're helping all this, but you got to let them know, feel through your words, through your videos. Let them know what the transformation look like when that problem is solved. And you do that based on your content. When you have your content, you start scripting out your content and your content will help you. I'm going to show you my books that I use. Your content will help you. Now, do not get your content on a, a notepad or a contact card. We don't do this. No, we don't do this. We don't know. We don't do this. You get in a book, a journal book, dollar store, dollar tree, and write all your content information that you want to put out based on the information that your target audience is going through. The content is anything that will add value to your reader's life. Your content is anything that will add value to your reader's life. And I got that from the content queen, Miss Felicia Mack. If it's not adding value, why are you putting it out? So whatever you're giving them, they want to see results. They want to see the transformation. They want to see all these information about your content. And Miss Kara, I see you. Go ahead. I see you are definitely, definitely sharing. So go ahead and DM me when we're after this live because I have an another giveaway for you. Go ahead and, and um, DM me because I have a giveaway for you, Miss Kara. So thank you for sharing this, this video. But 
So now you know your target audience. Now you know your objective. Now you know the problem you solve is. Now you know what the transformation. Let your client know. Let the prospective person know how your problem will be solved. So whenever I go to I, improper preservation, I always, most of the time, get people who are, not all the time, but sometimes I get people who are um, going through their their hoarding stage, right? They're, and that's a mental thing, right? That sometimes it's a mental. They feel like they have to hold on to something, right? <laughs> yes, yes. Thank you for tagging. Yes, yes. I'll tell you, it's giveaway Thursday, right? I'm giving away stuff, right? So, oh, and by the way, release the revenue. I have to say this. If you sign up, 10 people that sign up for release the revenue will be eligible for a three-day vacation on me and Jackie. Yes, three-day vacation. Release the revenue. Three people are picking three people, 10 people that signed up this week, three days, and release the revenue because we're in a given moment. But when when I talk to my um, my clients at, with the property preservation business, I have to let them know when we finish decluttering your home, you're going to have clarity, you're going to have information, you're going to have idea, and you're going to be able to breathe. Because right now you can't think because you're so cluttered up in the home, you can't think. So you have to, to walk them through the steps of what it looks like when it's done. So whatever business you are in today, you have to start walking people through the steps of what their transformation it would look like. Javonna used to say before I work with you, show me the receipt and what did people need to see your receipt? How many problems have you solved? How many people have you helped? How many reviews? And say you're just starting out. Well, it's great because guess what? Everyone had to start from somewhere. So what you're trying to get now is beta testing. You can do beta testing with getting a few people and doing things for free for them to ask for their result or their feedback from them. So that's the quick way to beta test when you're just having a business and you do not have reviews to back up your, yourself. You can beta test by offering your service for free in return for reviews for that, um, for, from that client or from that person. And you can use that beta test review as now actual review. Cause what you're doing is positioning yourself as an expertise in your field, right? Like a free seminar. Yes, Ebony. Correct. Yes. Like a free webinar. And guess what? You don't have to leave your home to have a seminar. You can be right there in your home and we have with Zoom offer you the ability to be able to even do that and record it and have your, yes, have your people come on in for a free, free seminar. And then from the feedback from that seminar, you can add that as your review, your result, right? To position you as an expert subject matter in your field. Correct. That is, that is, that is, that is correct. Yes. Yes. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much. So going back to what I was saying, your content should add value, value to whoever you're talking to. If your content does not add value, leave it where it is because you're not just doing this fly by night. Whenever I get on or whenever I call my girlfriend, I'd say I'm in the lab. So my lab looks like this, like, like paper, like this red, yellow highlight. This is my lab. Like I write everything out, research everything before I even speak to my clients or I study, I study, I study, I stay up on my game because before I reveal anything, I believe in quality, right? I believe in quality information. So, and because your client or your prospective client, they know if you're faking it, you can't fake it. They know if you're faking it, they know if you're just doing this fly by night thing. So you don't want to do that. I was talking to, uh, I was coaching webinar last night and on my coaching, I said to, to some of the, the, the ladies that it's amazed me that people spend such less time building their foundation of their business instead of that is the main part where you should be going in a book, whatever business you're in. So, so Ebony, I'll go back to you cause you're in legal shield. So you should be reading every book there is on, on, on legal shield or insurance or how to, how to cover you and so on. Or, and also reading empowerment books because one thing I tell people who are in MLM business, the business is great and you may make money, but you also, your money is for them. So you got to figure out how to tie brand you along with bringing, branding that MLM, right? And we, we will be doing that release of revenue, showing you how to take your business that in your MLM, but make sure people see you and not the actual MLM business. And we'll talk more about that when we get to release the revenue. But 
one of the main thing you want to do is you want to make sure that if someone says, if I need content or something, I know I need to go to Felicia uh, Matt because she's a content queen. If I need have a real estate question in regards to real estate, um, or when they're talking about lease option, option, I have Jack, Miss Jackie Jackson, Alexi was just on here. So I have a couple of people, proper preservation people come to me, cleaning, what product should I use to come to me? You want people to think of you immediately when they have a problem. Let me say that again. If it's, if you're in the fashion industry and you're trying to, okay, I don't know, I just did a photo shoot today and I'm like, okay, does this match? What do I, what do I do? Right? So I immediately can call my fashion expertise and say, hey, am I doing this right? How do I do this? How do I do that? How do I stand? You want to be the person, the first person someone think about in your field when they have that problem. Because if you are, if they don't think of you, that means you're not positioning yourself properly in the market as a subject matter for them to think of you now in the beginning ladies and gentlemen it may not happen i, I got that I, and, and that's cool so this is why it's important that you give away free quality content if you want to do a small webinar from your home right if you want to do a small webinar and use that feedback from the small webinar it could be something small as again how what colors go with what color what color season if you're in fashion right because i know we always throw out some just throw out some off by night thing um okay uh, you're in you're in uh, the fashion industry, Miss Sabrina, right? So let's go ahead and use yours. So let's go ahead and talk about what, how would I sell that? Like, how do I sell? Well, we know one thing with fashion, it brings confidence. It brings the new you, you put on a new outfit and it makes it, 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 it say something. It brings us, it bring a statement. So you might be helping another woman who is shy offline or may not want to get on camera, but you're able to use your fashion sense to help them dress and get ready to be online to be showcased in an event and you're using your webinar to do just that so i wanted to share with you guys that regardless of what business you are in there's always a target market for that business or don't do it and if you want to know will this business take off or will this business be the business that i embark on you first have to beta test it and how i beta test anything i'm getting ready to launch is to see first, is there a book? There's always a book about a business that you're in. So I always tell people when they say to me, I don't have enough content, I don't have enough information, I said you are not studying enough. Because if you read a book in your field or in your industry, that was able to give you, educate you on what your business should look like. And say you you just started, I don't know how much you charge. Well, Find someone that is your expert subject matter that you look up to that is making things happen in your business where they're not where you are, but they're way above you and see how they position themselves in the industry and use them as your study of how you want to execute your business. They can even be a bad study. It could be, okay, I don't want to do that or I want to do this. So that those are just two things you can do to, 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 right now this second to see if your business is a good fit. Now, while we're going at, let's go ahead and review because I know we just had some new people that just came on. We're talking about mind dumping to master plan. We have people right now and myself who when we're sleeping, when we're in the shower, when we're meditating, ideas come to us and we do not know how to use that idea and turn that idea into income to help other people. And this is why we're talking about the steps and roadmap that will help other people to and to get clarity and get to that idea, right? So it's all about your mindset because when whenever I see someone start a business and they're like, okay, they're stopping, I believe that it's not they're stopping because they feel stuck. They're stopping because they cannot process the next step. And if you have a situation where you cannot process the next step, that is where you need to seek other people that are higher that can help you get unstuck because if you're in your home trying to create this business by yourself and let me say this your business and your idea is only for you 
So if you come to someone who is not like-minded and tell them about your business, they cannot get it because the idea didn't come to them. They can't, God gave it to you. So if God gave it to you, why are you sharing with, with Debbie Downer and Negative Nancy? <laughs> Negative Nancy and Debbie Downer cannot articulate what you're trying to do because God didn't give them that gift. God gave you your idea. So stick with who God gave it to. God gave you your idea to execute to help other people. God didn't give you an idea to, before you go tell Negative Nancy. You already know Negative Nancy. Nancy is negative. So why would you share your idea with them? That don't even make sense to me. So when you're in a situation where like I have this idea and I don't know where to get started, find someone, anyone that is already doing the same thing and, and social media, the website help you with that. Or And feel free to always add in. It's a 15 minute free call that'll be able to help you. Um, now there's five questions we ask you to see if we're a good fit. And if not, I will, I will forward you over and refer you over to someone that, that can. Five minutes. I'm sorry, five questions, 15 minutes. So I don't waste your time or my time. That's why I call it a fitting call, right? DM me or I can send you my, um, my calendar so you can add yourself to it. But I just wanted to take a second to get you guys to understand how you move from all those mumbo jumbo ideas that are in your head and smooth those ideas out. Now here's what I want you to say. I'm going to leave you with this because I didn't want to be long. Here's what I want you to say. I want you to think. One of the reasons I struggle with my client is when they feel like they are exceptionally good on two things and they don't know which one they should use. They don't know if I should be in the credit repair business or if I should be in the marketing business or they don't know if they should be in the IT business or if they should be in something else. So what I tell my clients whenever I talk to them, I say, listen, regardless of what you chose, you are going to profit from that. But if you try to be in two things at the same time and market two things at the same time, it gets overwhelming right? So we have released the revenue going on and that is all I am marketing to help other people launch their business and create the lifestyle and freedom that they want to see in their life today. So that's the only thing that I'm marketing. When you're trying to market two things at the same time, it get too crazy. So you need to dumb down one channel. So when you pick one channel, here's what happened. I always get them to say, well, Sherry, if I pick this, my people over here that know I do this will think I'm doing this and don't come to me. Mm -mm, that's not how the universe works. That's not how God do it, right? Once you pick your channel or the thing that, that your gift or whatever you're specializing that you think that God wants you to do or wants you to navigate to, once you do that, right? Once you build your, yes, build your legacy, everything else will come to you. You know, one thing with real estate, can you tell me one, uh, successful person that doesn't have a real estate investment, right? So automatically you will become in real estate because Beyonce, Jay-Z, they all have real estate. Donald Trump, they all have real estate. Obama's, they all have real estate. Everybody, once you become rich, you use that money to invest in real estate, right? So what I'm trying to say is, regardless of whatever that channel is, you are going to do it. You're just not going to do it right now right? You need one foot in the door. When you get in and get established, I have this thing I said, my sister, sister girl coaching circle. I said, make a thousand dollars first before you try to go up at another stream of income. Make $1,000 first before you go to another income because people want to make sure they can trust, like, and know you, right? That is that trust, like, and no factor. And they can't trust you that you're going to stick around for the long haul because you're not consistent. You're moving from one business to the next business to the next business, the next hype business you're on there. So how can you be, be a subject matter if you're never consistent with your marketing in your business, right? And how can they get to know you if you keep changing your business style or one day you're doing this and the next day you're doing that. Now there's a different difference when you move from one thing to the other, but trying to market two things at the same time. When I was in, uh, when I still am, but when I'm in cleaning business, it makes sense to be in property preservation, right? Property preservation is the, still the house. It makes sense to be in real estate, right? Because we're still dealing with the residential property, right? So those three things goes together. So when you're thinking about, I'm good at this and I'm also good at that, what should I do? It gets um, your 
confusing. And Ebony, I saw your building legacy for your family, and that's your why, and that's beautiful. But what I want you to do is to go deeper. I want you to do, what I want you to do is, uh, I got to do this because I want my lights cut off. Like, I, I have to do this because the mortgage is due. I got to do this because I'm tired of paying rent. I want your why to be way stronger than just building a legacy because that's the end goal for everyone. But your why, go deeper. Go deeper as in my why is I want to be in PTA meetings with my child. I don't, I don't want to miss a soccer game because I'm busy working somebody else's job. My why is to be able to not miss not a day of activity with my son to volunteer his school. Your why has to be bigger than just I want to leave a legacy. Now, it, your why can't always be like monetization. Your why has to be about something deeper than money. Because if you start with money, it won't you won't last, right? Because money goes up, money comes down. So money comes in seasons, right? So your why has to be bigger than that. You want to be able to create and nurture something that you can, le yes, leave a legacy, you know, asset and all that behind. But what about wisdom and knowledge that you want to install in your child? So when when they grow up, they can make decisions that, so you don't, they don't make decisions that we make, right? When we were in college, that when we were in school, my mom said, go to college and get a job. Well, we went to college, we got a job and we got some loans, right? And our loans are half of us, it's, the loans are still there, right? So, you know, so, cause that's what we were told. And there's nothing wrong with education. I got my master's degree. There's nothing wrong with it. But what I'm saying is they kind of left us there right? They kind of, okay, we graduated. So now what? Right? <laughs> right. And this is why, but there's so many people out there that did not go to college, that did, did not have the degrees and they're still able to be successful. And that's because they didn't have a choice. Their why was that strong that they had, they had to create something. I was listening to, um, Steve Harvey and Steve Harvey uh, was talking about how he, when he was sleeping in his car and he says, I was sleeping in my car for three years, three years. I was sleeping in my car because every money I made, I sent it home to my wife and, and kids. So I was sleeping in my car for three years and he says, I just went and jumped. He said, well, when I jumped, I ended up, I lost my job. So I made $3,000 the first year cause I was listening keenly. I made $5,000 the next year and then I just jumped. Right. And when, when you jumped, you also, that's when your faith cut in, right? That's when, that's why when you start this business of entrepreneurship, every workshop that I start, I start with mindset. What does your mindset look like? Right? Because your mindset will sustain you if you have the right mindset, the mindset of abundance, the mindset of prosperity, mindset of faith, the mindset that you're, you're journalizing, you're meditating. You know, I, I, one of my clients this morning, I was telling her, I said, well, how do you start your morning? What's your morning routine? And she's like, well, I work out. And I'm like, great. But your mind has to be conditioned when you start in the morning time, because you don't know what you got to fight when you wake up in the morning. You don't know what information you're going to get. You don't know, you know, people going to stop you from being great. So you got to start your morning with a great morning ritual, whether it's li listening to powerful message, listen to powerful world, words or something. So when you get up, I challenge you find one thing. My morning starts at 3 a.m. in the morning. I get up, I do my meditation, my journalizing. I help my clients, make sure my staff have everything they need before they start their day that is what time my morning start but before I even talk to anyone I have to make sure my meditation get my my journalizing my affirmation the words of I am I am called to do this job I am called to be great regardless of the bank account look you are called to do this job right so that's how you get up in the morning you get a pump so whatever Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, or Sunday bring, you already have the whole armor put on, ready to face it. Because as entrepreneur, we know, right? My staff will call me and say, oh, we're moving this piano. We broke it. I'm like, oh, Lord. So you don't know what may come. Entrepreneurship is not the sweet thing that everybody says, right? It's not just like, oh, it's, it's a job. It's a work. But I guarantee you, you get what you put in. I get this. I'm not here to sugarcoat you. I guarantee you get the freedom lifestyle that you've been asking for. What you put in is what you will get, right? And your faith has to be bigger than that. I call it the elementary faith. 
Because God can only bless you to the measure of your faith, right? So if, you, if you're in elementary school, that's a little measure. You go up as high school. So he'll stretch your faith. He'll stretch your faith according to what you, you, you're willing to endure. So what faith do you have? Do you have an elementary faith? There's so many people right now that says, I want to start a job, but I got bills. Well, we all got bills. I got bills. You have bills? I got bills. <laughs> Last month, we got bills. I got student loans. I got some bills. I've been out of school since 2000. I got bills. The master's degree would not allow us to get any, any. I couldn't get no government help. I had to pay for my master's degree. So, but I, we all got bills. But does that stop you from progressing? Does that stop you from seeing how great you could be? Or you want to pass away tomorrow and says, I wish I had start today, right? We take a, ch a chance on a retirement that we may or may not see, but we don't take a chance on our own self. And I don't understand that. How are we so much believing in a retirement that may or may not be there, but we don't believe in our own self? So we got to figure out what does financial freedom or freedom lifestyle look like for us today? Here's the issue. If you don't start today, it's not going to come. You got to start for it to come, right? I'm not going to talk your ear off. I want to end there, but I really, really want to hope you got something for tonight. And a thumbs up if you got some things tonight. Definitely thumbs up. I want to make sure that you guys were able to be blessed with some information. I want you to join me at Release the Revenue. We're taking three people out of Release the Revenue and we're sending them on a vacation because we know you need it. We know you need a break. So please, please go to www.releasetherevenue.com dot com and sign up we're going to choose three people out of ten that sign up to send them on a trip and by the way uh september 23rd there's a big announcement coming so i want to make sure that you are in the house for release the revenue because just some of the things we touch on tonight the mind dumping to the master plan objective target audience and problem solving all that is going to be um Definitely be going over it in, in depth and in more detail, giving you a, a revenue sheet so you can see how much profit you're making in your business, how much revenue, because that's the thing we're missing. You can't have a business and don't know the numbers. You got to know the numbers, how your business look like. Always, always feel free to reach out to me for your 15 minutes, 15 minutes fit and call, five questions, and then we can go from ideas to income. Until next time, guys, it's Sherry Summers with Sherry Summers Unlimited, helping women, mothers, and everyone in our industry create a freedom lifestyle where they can determine their own life. See you guys next time. I appreciate it. Angel, how are you just getting on when I'm getting on? <laughs> but yes, I definitely want to join you guys in October 26th. Get your tickets now. It's at a hotel, so you can grab a hotel while you're here. We're like-minded women. We're going to um, be definitely... Oh, thank you, Ebony. We're definitely going to be in the house. Release the revenue October 26th through the 28th. I will drop three things down on their contact. I will give you release the revenue and our buyer's profile that I promise you that you can use to find your ideal client. I promise you that. Thank you, Kira. So make sure you join us again, October 26th. And if you need anything, anything from me in regards to relaunching your business, Get clarity on your business. I am just a phone call away. And yes, sometimes my VA answer and sometimes I answer and sometimes my assistant answer. But guess what? It will get to me, right? Because we believe in leveling up for our next, next life. And last thing, ladies, it's your time to shine. You can soar. The wind is blowing your way. Until next time, it's Sherry Summers. Have a good night. Bye.